Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. And thank you for to all my patrons and supporters and anybody who donated to this channel. You know, all the funds, like I said, are gonna go to you know saving these amazing old school machines. So today I have to do a lot of stuff. I have to change. Uh, I have to do that transmission service. Uh, so I'm gonna drop the pan, drain the fluid, drop the fan, uh, the pan, and uh, change the filter and gasket on it. And also we're gonna change the conductor plug. It's really common on a lot of these uh, late 90s, early 2000s benzes with the where the conductor plug actually starts leaking, and you know the fluid, the trans fluid can actually go all the way to the trans control module and damage it. So we're gonna prevent that and check obviously for fluid anywhere there so let's get to it so these are the parts that i'll be using this is the conductor plug all right it's the part number for it this guy and i got trans filter and everything i like how phoebe and all these other brands also you know include other languages it's pretty awesome uh, and then i've got fluid too and gasket should be somewhere here as well the gasket is actually inside along with the filter good stuff all right so here's the trans pan with five millimeter allen we're gonna loosen this guy and start draining the tranny and right there let's get to this you can see trans pan is actually leaking a little bit and it's not coming from the engine side the engine side is mostly clean so it's definitely transmission pan gasket oh look at that it's actually pretty clean huh look at that so maybe they did the service but that's okay we're gonna do it again just to make sure that it all gets done because I don't know if they changed the conductor plug and all that too, so I have to do it. All right, so with the T30, we're gonna start taking each bolt out. Right, right guys? I'm gonna take each bolt out. I already loosened all of them. And this is actually a nice design because they have these blocks. So basically, as soon as you tie, these blocks go against the mating surface and you can't really over tighten these and squish your pan you know so that's actually a really nice design that they started doing in the late 90s yeah i like this a lot more because the older style on like the w124s the w123s and 126s all the other cars like you can't over torque those because the pan gasket will leak but these are pretty cool you can't really over torque these it's the pan all right so i'm gonna have this drip for a while i'm gonna take this filter off it's just a press fit and just pull it off all right and then we're gonna clean this pan too all right This pan too, really nice. Everything. Gonna take this gasket off. This filter is just like a press fit. There's gonna be more oil coming out, so there we go. Filter. I'm gonna let this pan drip or this trans. So one thing I noticed about this car, and it's actually pretty sad. It's a little tight, but anyways, so this is your trans oil cooling line. Actually, no, not this one. This one right here. See that? Trans oil cooling line going there. And the thing is that it's a press fit. 
So you can't just undo this hose if it starts going bad. You, you would have to change the whole line, left and right side. This is where this hose comes and it just goes to the oil cooler for the trans cooling system. Same with this one. Okay, it's, it's literally a press fit so you can't even replace that. Like you would have to change the whole thing. That's crazy. Because on the older Benzes, it's literally like like there's there's a hex nut on both sides of the lines, left and right side, and you can just change this rubber hose. That is crazy. Ugh. Do you ever work on cars and then you just decide to take a break like this? Just lay under the car? Just admire everything, every single system of it? Yeah, that's what I do sometimes. All right, so I just undid this plug. I'm gonna pull it and look at all this oily stuff in here. That means it was leaking, starting at least, or it was, there was some fluid in here actually. So it was leaking, this guy. So we basically, we're doing it at the perfect time. So I'm gonna clean this really good with brake cleaner. And then now we're gonna focus on taking this guy out. There's, I think it's got a eight millimeter hex in there. I gotta take this guy out. All right, so this was actually seven millimeter. It was a little tight, but got it out. Okay, so we're gonna loosen it. I think the bolt stays with the, the conductor plug. So we're gonna pull that guy. be able to just wiggle this guy out hopefully it's not too stuck so there are two o-rings there might have to work it back and forth a little so this is the original part i don't know if it's ever been replaced maybe that's what it looks like now there are two o-rings you need to retrieve those two o-rings from the inside of the transmission if they got stuck in there Okay, so that's the new guy. I'm gonna go ahead and change it out. Also, before installing this guy, put transmission oil on this. All right, I lubricated this with trans oil. We're gonna go ahead and install it. All right, so everything is cleaned up in there. Make sure O-rings are not there. And let's go ahead and install this. You're gonna have to align this, so it might take you a little while, but be patient and be careful. I don't have a new crush washer, but this one's still in great shape. We just cleaned everything with the brake cleaner and the pan. Also cleaned this side, looking really good. Ready to install it soon. All right, I got the pan ready to go, all cleaned up. I also cleaned this magnet, we installed it. I'm gonna install the gasket and then I scuffed this area. As soon as I install the pan, I'm gonna actually give it a coat of paint. Uh, a little bit of surface rust here in a couple spots. All right, the pan is ready to go. Gonna install it. Got a brand new gasket. Looking beautiful. All right, so the mating surface is all clean. I have to go over it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna install the brand new filter. Okay, make sure this O-ring is on there and make sure that the old O-ring is not stuck in that hole. Okay. Then it's just gonna kinda simply go like this. All right, now I'm gonna install this plug. It's all cleaned up, degreased, and we're carefully gonna install it. All right, we're gonna go crisscross pattern. It's actually pretty easy. You can't really over tighten these or under tighten them because they're, like I said, they have these blocks and it's 
super nice. Can, can't stop saying that. That's a really good advantage to these transmissions. I think it's gonna be nice and clean. Hey, what's that? Come on. Oh. oh, there it is. Doesn't have to be super crazy. All right, transmission pan is all installed. I'm just gonna coat it with some paint. And then that guy's all installed too. Conductor plug. If you didn't know, you have to have your own dipstick to check the trans oil. Actually, engine oil too, because it doesn't come with dipstick. Check it, check it out. But yeah, I added about, I think, four quarts. All right, so everything's back together and uh, the oil pan is also painted. I painted the oil pan so it's nice and clean looking and there's going to be no more rust on it. All right, the car is running. I ran it through all the gears. So I'm about to check the level. But then the final test of the level is going to be after I test drive the car and the transmission gets warmed up. All right, this is what transmission is showing now. It's pretty low. I'm going to add some more fluid to it. Checking of the fluid and the transmission is uh, it's taking a while because you pour some in and you have to wait because there's a bunch of fluid on the sides of the dipstick tube so you're trying to get the right reading so you have to wait for it to actually like you know drop by gravity all the way so it's not messing with your reading so that's what I'm doing now Here's the fluid level, I'm gonna leave it at that. It's good, the car is at the level surface too. Perfect. Everything is looking good here. No fluid leaks. Everything is amazing. So I can say I did a good job. Trans oil is all filled up. 